Pešve. Un viņš stāstījis par Hartijas kalendāru un ar to saistītajiem aspektiem. Next speaker is Dr. Akilēš Pešve. Te jau tā zinātās, cik cilvēki no jums saprot angļu valodu, kas ir vārdas ar šiem. Te jau nav ansarīgs. Jā, cik saprot angļu valodu? Vai ir vajadzīgi tulkot? Vajag. Vajag, jā? Jā. At the outset, I pay my homage to Goddess Saraswati, holy land of Latvia. Pay my respects. As I say, 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 I I thank the organizers. Liela pateicība organizētājiem. Latvija. Maras, Lukas. And the Latvian face for us, Egnia and you all. Un īpaši Maras Lokam un Egniai un visiem, kas piedalās. And how much time I have? Cik daudz laika būtu dots runātāji? The regular 30 minutes, the time you do. Vai tas, vai 30 minūtes, vai? Apmēram, tā. Nebaldi sociāli. My dear religious, I am here to present the present certain concept of Bhartiya calendar. Esmu šeit ieradies, lai pastāstītu par dažiem Bhartiya kalendāra aspektiem. Generally, a calendar is defined as a chart. Kopumā kalendāru var definēt kā grafiku. But it's not just graphic. Bet tas nav tikai grafikas. It has many more things into it. Tajā ir daudz vairāk lietu ietvērts. It has got calculations behind the pages. Tam... Mathematical calculations. Tam tas pārsniedz vienkāršas matemātisku saprētījums. The calendar depends on the way time is divided, the division of time. Kalendārs nosaka laika sadalījumu. The way Bhārtīja kalendar or Kāla Ganana has divided time has stood the test of time. Tātad Bhārtīja kalendārs ir sadalīts test of time. Ages over ages it has stayed. Tas ir izturējis laika pārbaudi. It's relevant even today. Un viņš tiek izmantots arī šodien. Whenever we quantify time, kad mēs kvantificējam laiku, iedalām to. Two concepts are important. Ir svarīgi divi jēdzieni. The smallest unit of time. Mazākās laika vienības. And the largest unit of time. Mazākā laika vienība un lielākā laika vienība. Bhārtīja kalendar has both. Bhārtīja kalendārā ir abas iekļotas. There were various ways of calculating time in India. Ir dažādi veidi, kā skaitīt laiku Indijā. In the ancient times. Zemnos laikos. I have, I am giving, in my presentation, I am covering the Shaka Muni style. Es stāstīšu par tā saucamā, es ir tritni samēr, Shaka Muni. Just say Shaka Muni. Shaka Muni style. Shaka is a scholar. One of the scholars, Shaka. Viens no zinātniekiem, Shaka. And Divediji and all this, they will be able to tell. Jā, zinātnieki Shakas, laikskaitīšanas veids. The various calendars were... Tātad dažādie kalendāri. Were, because of the position of the individual or the position of the place, that created the variation. 
atkarībā no vietas, kur viņš tika izmantots, tas arī radīja, tas bija pamats tajā atšķirībai. Very much like what is said in the morning in uh, Irina Suprosta's presentation. Kā teic, Suprosta's kundz savā prezentācijā no rīta. That because of the position, the geographical position here, it has got a unique uh, uh, Tieši geografiskās izvietojums ir uh, tas aspekts, kas nosaka kalendāra unikalitāti konkrētā vietā. Uh, Shakmuni divided time the, the, this is the smallest unit of time and uh, the indian scholar essays all these are different units the smallest that you see in the top tad mazākais mazākā ir pašā augšā minēta to is parmanu to sauc parmanu and then it goes on like two parmanus make one anu then three anus make one tristi and so on un tālāk jau divas parmanu ir viena anu trīs anu viena trasrenu now if you think of these terms in terms of a and b just imagine as the smallest unit as a ja mēs varam pieņemt ka izteiksmē tādā algebriskajā a un b ja a then two a's will make one b tātad divi a būs viens b and three b's one c un trīs b būs viens c and uh, uh, down there you see there is like 3 is f and 3 f is g and 3 g is h and then 2 r is s but then on the yeah, left hand side so uh, so by the time you come to this unit here it's three nimish is equal to one moment and then as you go down uh, there are like seven days in one week and then uh, two pakshas like two sets of 15 days make one month and then it in the end you get half year and then another half that is full the last one is one year there was another method uh, to be valid, uh, um, like the variations system, like another system. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it's given, uh, you see that in the screen. Mm -hmm. uh, the difference between the two methods. Was so far as one unit was concerned. Tas viss bija saistībā ar to, uz ko attiecas viena vienība. Mūrta is the unit of time. Mūrta. Mūrta ir laika vienība. According to the earlier method. Saskaņā ar arier meter mērīšanu sistēmu. Ar iepriekšējo, jā. It equal 450 cash cards. Tajā ir ilgst 450. The others, on the other side, it equals 900. 900 cash cards. So that's the difference. Uh, but the thing is, the, the calendar system doesn't stop at the maximum unit as a year. It goes beyond that. <laughs> And then, if you notice on the top one Kaliyu, the, 
the bigger unit, Kali U. Equals 432,000 years. Four thirty-two thousand years. That's the unit of one Kali Yuga. So if this is A, A equals one, three, two, zero, zero, zero. And then two and then three, four makes one sat you. And then uh, these are the units. Then there are four fourteen manvantaras. That is again, you know, first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Sixth largest unit, sixth largest unit is this. That equals four three two zero 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 zero. That makes one again in the largest system. We and scalps. So the now the thing is. Uh, one again, it continues like that into more many more years, and one of the concepts that uh, that it conveys is time is infinite. Hmm. If I uh, use a, uh, if I try to explain the smallest unit, so many times we say that I will do this in a moment. I will do that in a moment. Moment, moment. Moment. That one moment is divided into four, eight, six per month, the very first smallest unit. That makes one moment. Yeah. So to to those depths they thought. Yeah. The smallest unit in the table. The question comes to mind is Is this all imaginary? Apparently it looks like that. But it is not so. It has got a scientific base. It is based on minute observation. No, in depth, in depth, detail, detail. Observation of cosmic events. Based on the movement of cosmic objects. Cosmic objects are called Khagol Pinda in Sanskrit. The, the, general, uh, the general method of calculating time in terms of years, also has got science. But that's only limited to motion of earth around the sun. But then, earth is not the only object moving around the sun. And time is associated not just with Earth. It's associated with cosmos. 
भारतीय कैलेंडर टैक्स इनटू कंसीडरेशन शायद कैलेंडर टेक नियम स्वारा द मोशन ऑफ डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट्स दाजा दो डेबेस टर्मेन कुस्ती दिस इज हाउ दे यूज्ड टू थिंक शायद शायद बे विन दो मशन स्वेट्स नाउ दिस ऑब्जेक्ट्स फॉर एग्जांपल सन अर्थ मून शेयर डेबेस टर्मेन का साउ मेनेस सन जेमे they have different masses sizes they have different sizes ja bin ye dažādi izmēri and speed un viņu ātrums ir dažāds and they cover un tātad viņi different veids. sorry yeah. different distances un viņi veic dažādu satālu <coughs> a day satārdiena so, uh, earth completes one round in 24 hours with the speed of 1600 km this is all we know this is taken into consideration solar day un saulas diena Earth revolves around the sun. Zeme kāpēc ap sauli? Yeah. With the speed of one lakh kilometers. With the speed of one lakh kilometer per hour. Guys, miss. If you imagine three sixty degrees. Yes. Just if you imagine three sixty degrees. Yeah, yeah, don't mind. Three sixty degrees is hundred degrees. One degree movement of Earth in a day. Ah, we are in a grad. Pavirsishna is day now. Next solar day. That is all is day. This was taken into consideration. That's very important. Then motion of the moon. That like minus kustiba. Was also taken into consideration. Are it important? Yeah. The motion of the moon is called, or the moon day is called. On the Venus day, not the exact date. Tithi. Tithi. According to the Martian calendar. So, it's going to be about the Cartes calendar. Yeah. And when you see the full moon. That's what the moon Venus. That's called Purnima. Two thousands. Oh, let's let's skip that. Purnima. Purnima. You you have the idea now. That the motion of the moon is taken into consideration. Then, the cosmos or zodiac is considered as stationary. The cosmos. Cosmos. The outermost, you know, is considered stationary. To start for stationary. That is divided into twenty-seven nakshatras. That's it. Only it's due to some seventy nakshatras. Twenty-seven. And in one month, uh, all these go one by one. That's the key. It's very much like that. Then again, nakshatras twenty-seven divided into twelve rashis, the zodiac signs. Twenty-seven narrows down to twelve. And those twelve are the Rashi's, the zodiac sign, Aries, Taurus, and so on. Like Aries, Taurus, these are twelve. For the division, for the narrowing down of twenty-seven to twelve, this is the mathematical calculation used. Uh, imagine there are three sixty degrees, right? And twenty-seven nakshatras. That three is three hundred thirty degrees. Two hundred thirty nakshatras. This gives thirteen point thirty-three for one. About. Approximately. This again divided by four. Because each nakshatra has four angular moments. This is three point three. 
for one degree movement of nakshatra. For one degree movement of nakshatra. So the the twenty seven. These are twenty seven. You know, one, two, three, four, five, six. If you count like this, there will be twenty seven. And these formation make one uh, Rashi, that is the sign, the zodiac sign. And so let, let, let's skip that now. Then the cosmic aspect of months, if you go back to the names of the months. Like Roman calendar, Julian calendar, Gregorian calendar, it doesn't depend on, it does not depend on historical events. It does not depend on historical events. It depends on cosmic events. And then the solar motion, the motion of the sun in the southern hemisphere and northern hemisphere solstice we say is taken into consideration. And you see the degrees, 23.5, the mathematical calculation behind. Now, if we, we have seen the highest magnitude as 1, 4, 3, 2, 0, 0 years. But it doesn't stop there. It goes beyond. This 4, 3, 2, 0, 0 years. Yeah. According to Bhartiya Kalgarna, once in once in four three two zero zero years, all the seven planets get in one direction. Uh, then uh, they, they complete revolution around the Milky Way. They complete revolution around uh, what, uh, the Milky Way, the Akash Ganga, the Milky Way. And one that the, 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 the Milky Way also revolves around the center. And it takes three zero six seven two zero 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 years. That is thirty crore. Let's skip that. Initially, the vernal equinox and the starting point of Bharati calendar in AD two eighty were the same. In AD two eighty, let's skip that. Uh, all of we are familiar with the notion of relativity of time. Like uh, real. The, the Indian sages were aware of real relativity. <coughs> According to Bharatiya Kalgarna, time is cyclical as it was said very much in the first presentation, the introductory remark. It was said in the morning. Then, the calendar is linked with common man's life. I was very, uh, I got very interested in the poet Rini's 
Uh, whose quote was cited? Uh, where he said or she said? Where he said? It is here and now. Uh, I mean by that. Divine is here and now. In the Indian system, there is a tradition of doing a particular invocation, prayer. Okay, let's get back. Before starting, any any important function, ritual, uh, it, this part is in Sanskrit, you don't bother about the translation for a while. Before the ritual, there is Sankalpa, Sankalpa. So what they will do is they will uh, they will they will remind themselves. It's a way of reminding oneself of one's own position. Hmm. Way of reminding oneself yeah. of one's position in the cosmos. Yeah. Uh, that that is by prayer. By saying ah, prayer. Yeah. That the support functions, that support functions. Mēs it kā pozīcionējam sevi lielajā kosmosā, to apzināmies savu vietu pozīcionējam sevi. So they take the name of uh, year. Tā kā teiks gada nosaukums. Gada. Jā, that yuga, then the actual place. Tad vieta. Then the ayan, uh, motion of the sun. Saules kustība. The position of the sun. The season, the month, the, first, the half of the month, first or latter half, first 15 days or second 15 days, then motion of the moon, and then the specific time of that day, when the prayer is being said. So this is how a common man is uh, made conscious of the infinite time. The Tithi in Bhartiya calendar Tithi is unit of time. Tithi is one of in the whole list there was one unique tithi uh, motion of moon is uh, is related with high tide and low tide because the unit is the unit is linked with the motion of the moon the fishermen take into consideration the tithi, the motion and position of the moon and then go to the sea for fishing. So, in this table here, you see the times. This is 19, June 19, two days. They have said that this is the time when high tide will come. They have taken into consideration sunrise, the motion of the sun, the motion of the moon, sunset. You can predict the time even for 23rd. 
In this way, for from 1000 year now, for 1000 or even more, 1000. They will be able to predict the time. They can predict the moon rise. Their calculations have not generally gone wrong. This is the graph you see. Uh, the time of the rise of the moon uh, and the time. For next seven days, right up to 21st June, the time will mostly come according to this. The, the high tide and low tide will follow the pattern. Their calculations match the modern uh, calculations used uh, made by technology. To sum up, I have made. I have made the following points in my presentation. Indian calendar has minutest division of time and largest unit of time. The calendar is associated with the motion of Earth, Moon, Sun, Planet and holds the outermost sphere of Nakshatra as constant. Outer. Is that. Best on, it is based on minute observation. It is of uh, observation of cosmic events. Months depend on the motion of the moon. Uh, time is a time is cyclical and not linear. It is associated with common man's life, ritual and nature. I humbly thank you. For your kind patience. <laughs> Thank you so much.